major feature added to PV Elite version 27 is the new design code AD2000. This is the German standard and it's long been asked for from the European market. The code is seamlessly added and will function just like other codes in the software. Simply select the standard from the drop down list or when starting a new model and enter the values as normal. The AD2000 materials were of course added to the software as well. Running the analysis, you can see the output similar to other code standards. The formulas and references are right in the body of the output as expected. In version 27 of PV Elite, stiffening rings can automatically be generated to help the vessel pass requirements for external thickness. This is somewhat similar to auto-selecting thicknesses based on internal and external pressure, except it is for stiffening rings. The software will automatically recognize the requirements and create the appropriate number and size of stiffening rings in one click. Users previously could add rings manually, and they still can, and achieve the same outcome. But now this task only takes seconds. Dynamic sketches are added this year to PV Elite for both flanges and heat exchangers. This now allow users to have dynamic sketches for the mentioned flanges and heat exchangers, as well as stiffening rings and tube sheets and expansion joints. This is a great new feature that allows users to see dimensions that are entered onto the sketch of a flange or heat exchanger in real time. In years past, a static image was provided to users for variables in the sketch to represent different dimensions. Now the user values are put directly into this sketch. This allows users to get dynamic feedback for the data that is put into the model.